So far, so good for Spain over in Euro 2024 as they top the group. Look, A-OK -okay, and already through to the last 16. Albania, though, on the flip side, are still fighting for their lives. They go into this with a sliver, a glimmer, a, an ounce of hope to make the last 16. Can they do it? We're getting into it. Uh, next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video. Today is all about Albania up against Spain over in Group B. That's right. With both nations still got a lot to fight for uh, uh, in this group. Uh, with, of course, Spain already guaranteed a spot in the last 16. Albania, though, trying to get there, of course. Who, of course, will take advantage this weird time around? We'll get into it, all of it, in a second. Of course, big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you're new, smash the old subscribe. Your one-stop shop for... Uh, Euro 2024 is right here, guys. Albania, they need a win. Spain, of course, I think they're there. I think they're already group winners. Uh, so they're, of course, pretty much cruising. Uh, of course, big, big shout out to the VIPs, the, the patrons, of course. Smash the like, 50 likes if you can. But it's all about this. It's Albania. It's Spain. Let's get into it. All righty, let's take a look at Albania. Of course, a massive underdogs to this game uh, who did qualify as Group E winners. I stress you not. They qualified on merit. And so far, we've seen Albania. Uh, what, what they do, what they have and other clubs or other countries don't have is fight, is team spirit, never say die in attitude. Uh, and they've, they've been, they've been made to fight in all both their matches so far. They took an early lead against the, the Italians. Unfortunately, they were a little bit undone by there. And then they took the lead against Croatia. Fought back from 2-1 down to get something out of that game. So kudos to them. They're here and they're trying to be, be, uh, stick it out. Uh, they qualified on the 17th of November, 2023. They've been here just the one time in the past. Silvino is the manager with Armando Broja, the star man. Not really got been the star man as he's been a bit of a bit of a, of a, a substitute. Uh, of course, Group B, twenty-five to one to win the group, eleven to four on to qualify. Oh, sorry, eleven to four to qualify and five hundred to one to win the thing. The odds actually have shortened on four hundred to one now for Albania to win this thing. But I do expect a group stage exit. If we're going to be completely honest with you, there's only the only only a couple of teams can qualify, uh, and right now it does look like it could only be a couple of teams. As we look at the state of play in Group B, Spain top the charts. We'll talk about them in a minute. Italy with that one win, uh, and they've got a big game themselves, and then Albania. Uh, in third at the moment, of course. A win for Albania would definitely put them in the mixer here. Uh, it would put them, uh, as uh, worst case scenario, one of the, the, the third place teams. Um, but um, it is a tall, tall order, uh, especially when you think about what's uh, going on in the, in the other game. Uh, meanwhile, of course, they did open up with a 2 one against Italy. That's back on the June 15th. And then they took on Croatia in that 2-2 two -two draw. Um, again, they saved probably the worst to last, the most difficult game. But what Spain will show up now that they're already... Uh, through as group winners. Let's take a look then, shall we? And of course, the key personnel for Albania, with, of course, Beresha, uh, of course, uh, Dimitri, uh, Galshula, Lachi there, Broja, Daku. Of course, they're all familiar faces now, aren't we? We're all becoming Albanian uh, big big time fans after their performance uh, in the last game. This is my lineup then. We've got Beresha, Hajash, Derejesi, Ishmalji, Balu, Lachi, Ramadani, Aslani, Barjami, Broja. Uh, Brosha, uh, Asani up top. Everyone knows that. It's, it's, it's the Albanians, of course. We know that. Let's take a look then at the Spanish thing coming at you right here, right now, as Group A winners. That's right. 15th of October, 2023. They qualify. They've been here 11 times in the past. They've won it a couple of times. Luis de la Fuente is the manager with Rodri, the star man. Of course, Group B at the moment uh, for Spain, 5 to 4 on to win the group, 12 to 1 on to qualify, odds of 8 to 1. To win the thing, they have slightly shrunk at eleven or two now, and I think right now these are the team that uh, is going to be difficult to stop. Uh, quarterfinal prediction is my expectation. That's the, I think the minimum right now, um, but uh, they could go much further than that. Three nil, one nil, back to back clean sheets. Defense is playing a key part in their start, and of course they've they've taken on the heavyweights already. Uh, Croatia three nil win over then on Saturday the fifteenth of June. They picked up a one nil win over Italy. That was of course. Uh, on the 20th of June, and now Albania on Monday, the 24th of June. Top of the bins, four goals scored, none conceded. It's perfect. It's the perfect start to the tournament. Let's take a look at the players then, uh, who have been asked to do the job here. Simon between the sticks, the Linomand. At the back there, of course, Navas, uh, Ruiz, Rodri, uh, Lopez, Joselu, Danny Olmo. Uh, it's been pretty much a tried and trusted for the time being. Uh, but what would we see, or are we likely to see any changes from the starting Let's take a look then at my starting level. We've got Simon between the sticks, Cucurella and Lenormand, La Poitre, Carvajal. We've got Weekly Williams. We've got uh, Fabio Ruiz, Daniomo, Rodri, Olathebal and Morata. 
that's what I think, of course, for the starting eleven. But um, of course, Yamal's been a standout. Uh, I'm sure he's expected to play play along in that uh, that right hand side. Anyway, let's take a look at the, the game itself. Come out at the Dusseldorf Arena on the 24th of June. Albania, Spain, of course, who have played six times since 1986 with six wins out of six for Spain. Albania, though, coming into this on the back of back-to-back uh, winless affairs, a 42% uh, percent form for them at the moment. Meanwhile, Spain winning four in the bout, 75% percent form for them over the last six. Their biggest win, though, over Albania was a 9-0 drubbing all the way back in December 1990. The most recent match, though, uh, is a 2-1 win for Spain back in March 2022. Um, of course, let's take a look then at the bookies. Oz. The bookies are 15-2 for your Albania. 50-19 is your Spain. That's 15-19 on, and 50-4 is the draw for Spain. The public vote overwhelmingly going with the Spanish on this one with Albania. Realistically, look at it on the outside uh, coming in, and the draw is just at 2% here. But what about me on this one? Now, now of course, the romantic in me sees Albania victory against a, a changed-up Spanish side uh, and of course puts them right back in the thick of things and gets through uh, with four points but realistically I cannot see it uh, Albania were always given a, a tough deal here uh, with their group um, I think you put the put Albania in and any other group any other group and they're of course contenders for qualification for the last 16 they've been given the shit ride here shit stick shit draw whatever you want to call it and, and ultimately even if Spain play a reduced uh, squad or a different squad, they're going to come out on top. I'm going with a 2 0 for the Span Spanish. I love to see it. Don't get me wrong. I love to see an Albania victory. I really would uh, because they've been fantastic. They've been one of the hardest working teams in this tournament, but to little or no reward. So, unfortunately, Albania look like they're going to go out. Spain look like they're going to go through and they're going to go through with a clean, perfect record. And, of course, uh, putting uh, the fear in the rest of the teams. That's it, guys. Subscribe. Smash the like. 50 likes if you can. Can Albania surprise us all with the victory? We're going to get into it all of it and of course right here under one roof until then we are donezoed